Hi, I'm Una. You're very welcome to my channel. If you're not interested in the Gemini Junior, you can skip forward for the Shaker card. I'm making a video unlike others that I've made before because I want to share what I use in the Gemini Junior. Now, I emphasize I cannot recommend that you do the same. The manufacturer would certainly not agree with what I use in the Gemini Junior, but this is what works for me. The top plate I have used for about two months now, over two months, and it's flat. It's very scratched because I've used it a lot. I do a lot of die cutting and it is a Sizzix cutting pad. I bought them in my local hobby shop. Now, this is my old Gemini Junior cutting plate. It is very warped, very bowed. You can see it there rocking on the table and do not use your plate. If, if yours looks like this, I would advise you not to use it in your machine because I did some damage to my machine. It makes a terrible noise now. Cuts fine, it makes a terrible noise. Now, the length and the width of the Sizzix plates are fine, an eighth of an inch. Uh, wider or shorter or narrower or whatever, it makes no difference. The aperture on the Gemini Junior takes it very well. The thickness is what really matters. And the Sizzix is 0 0.3 centimetres or an eighth of an inch. And the Gemini Junior plate is slightly thicker. So you do need to adjust accordingly or I need to adjust accordingly. Remember, I'm not saying that you should do this, but it's what I do to save myself a lot of money because having to change my plates every three or four weeks just wasn't on. I've put captions on the video to show the difference. Just makes more sense for me to use something different. This is the sandwich I use, a Gemini clear cutting plate. Card, a piece of card that is the cover of a paper pad. The metal shim, the plastic shim. Now I changed my magnetic shim as well because this is what my Gemini shims looked like. Look at the state of this. This was my very first one. And then when I got a replacement, it after two weeks it looked like this. It wasn't flat and I, I like my magnetic shim to be flat when I'm laying down my dies. Now this does work. Don't get me wrong, it does work, but I just don't like the way it's all bowed and just not flat. So I use magnetic shims from Do Crafts. They come in a pack of four. That means they're less than 90 cent each. And so replacing them isn't a problem. But I used one for two months before I replaced it with this one last week. This is the one I used for two months. And you can see it has held up really well. It's still quite flat. It's unlike the genuine Gemini one. It's, uh, you know, after two weeks, the Gemini looked like that. And this is after two months. Now, they do have a release paper on the back, which is quite slippy and could move around in your sandwich. So what I do is I remove it and replace it with an A5 sheet of card. And when I was editing this video, it suddenly dawned on me I could actually increase the shims by putting something adhesive on the back of the, the magnetic shim. I must try that. But anyway, this is what my sandwich looks like and I'm happy with it. So on with the shaker card. I'm using a Stax die, square die, inside, outside stitched dies and I cut out a panel of Nina Solar White Classic Crest 80 pound card. And then I'm finding the center of the card so that I can divide the card into four quadrants. And then I take the small square die and just eyeballing it. Now you could be far more precise than me and you could measure this out carefully. But generally speaking, I have a good eye and I felt comfortable cutting out the four panels without measuring. So I cut it out in my Gemini Junior and now I have four openings into which I can put my animals. 
and making sure that my eraser is clean, I erase all the lines and then get rid of the erasing debris. Now I was going to use removable tape to put my panel into the Misty, but then thought, no, the stamp is so large, it would be much more suitable to just put the stamp into the Misty, lay it flat, and then put the panel on top. I use Hero Arts Mint Julep ink. I wasn't happy with that in the end, but I just wanted to show you the process. You'll see later that I changed it up completely. The stamps I'm using are my favourite things, Dynamics Farm Friends. Beautiful set. Really cute animals. I use Memento ink because I want to use alcohol markers. Now I speed through this. I do nothing special and I really mean that. <laughs> I would recommend that you try Christina Werner or Michelle Short or Kelly Latavola or, you know, just put in a search for colouring with alcohol markers. There are some wonderful artists out there who do amazing things with them. I just do bog standard colouring. I cut out a piece of acetate for the inside so that I'll create little windows. I get rid of any anti any static with my towel. I cover the panel with double-sided tape and then adhere the acetate. And now it's ready to put on more tape and pick up my creatures so that they'll be peeping out the windows. Snip off the excess and then I'm ready to make the shaker part of the card. Now I do this with adhesive foam strips. I bought these from Stampin' Up! years ago. I, other manufacturers make them as well. And what's really handy about them is you can twist them. And so there's no danger of the bits falling out. And the bits I use are from Lucy's Cards. Unicorn Surprise or Unicorn Crush, something like that. I list my supplies down below the video and then I adhere a piece of card the same size and press it well so that it will hold everything intact and I'm really pleased with it. So what I do decide to put on the card is Nina Desert Storm craft card. I thought that looked really nice. No. Wait until you see what I did. The card is upside down. I had to pull it off and start again. But that happens sometimes and this time I was far more careful. I put a little X on the back of the card in the top left hand corner so that I'd know exactly how to adhere it. And it did look very nice in the end. Pressing it down. Isn't that looking really cute? This stencil is from Phil Martin, Doodle Hearts. And I just happen to have a card base lying in my drawer for weeks now, waiting for the opportunity to use it. And I thought this was the perfect time. Looked really nice, I thought, as a backdrop to the, the shaker card. So I'm being really, really careful in how I'm doing things now. Pop on some blocks until that dries. And I used an alphabet die to make three hello words. Adhere them together for dimension. It's a Sizzix alphabet die. Adhered the letters to the centre of the card. And I was really pleased with it. I got there in the end. So that's the video for today. I hope you found it interesting. I hope you liked seeing what I'm doing with my Gemini Junior these days. But like I say, I can't recommend it. I would love if you would subscribe to my channel. There are some more videos here you might like to watch. If you leave me a comment down below, I'd love to hear from you. 
if you'd give this video a thumbs up, I would be so thrilled. Thank you very much for watching. All the best for now. Bye. Take care.